St. Aloysius College Autonomous is a premier institution which has been serving the community of Mangaluru with a special emphasis on quality education for the youth of the city and surrounding areas. This year, we are celebrating our 139th year of service in the field of education. The college campus is known for its salubrious atmosphere, community, culture, spirit of tolerance, excellence in teaching, ethical values and state-of-the-art facilities. St. Aloysius College is an autonomous college. The autonomous status was granted to the college in 2007. This year, the autonomous status has been extended up to 2022. The college is accredited by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council NAC, at A grade in its first accreditation in 2004. The college has been re-accredited by NAC at A grade in the third cycle with a CGPA of 3.62 out of 4 in 2004. 2015. The Star College Scheme conferred by the DBT Government of India has been upgraded to Star Status in 2016. University Grant Commission has awarded DDU Kaushal Kendra to the College for offering Bachelor of Vocational Programs. Only 58 institutions have received this distinction at the national level. The NIRF ranking awarded by the MHRD has ranked the College at 94 in 2018, which is an outstanding achievement. MHRD has awarded third rank in Swatch Campus Ranking in the college category at the All India level in 2018. Karnataka State Government has now selected the college under the scheme of Biotechnology Skill Enhancement Program in 2018. The prestigious weekly journal the week in its survey has ranked the college at 22 among the best science colleges in the country in 2018. Similarly, India Today ranking 2018 has placed the college among the 100 best colleges in the country. The college has been selected under Unnat Bharat Abhyan scheme of Government of India under non-technical category in the year 2018. St. Aloysius College offers six undergraduate programs BA, BCom, BBA, BSc, BCA and BWOC. There are 21 PG programs in the college. The college is governed by the Governing Council comprising of an eminent body of members as well as the Academic Council. The administration of the college 2018 and 19 Reverend Father Dionysius Vas S.J. Rector, St. Aloysius Institutions Dr. Father Praveen Martis S.J. Principal Dr. A.M. Narahari Registrar Reverend Father Melvin Lobo S.J. Finance Officer We thank Reverend Father Pradeep Sikwera S.J. for his contributions as the outgoing Finance Officer The Directors of Various Blocks Reverend Father Melvin Pinto SJ has taken over as the Director of Konkani Institute. We thank the outgoing Director, Professor Edwin J.F. D'Souza for his 26 years of service for the Institute. The major event of the year was preparing the college for deemed to be university status. The inspection by the nine-member UGC Expert Committee on February 1st and 2nd, 2019 has been successfully completed. The college is hopeful of becoming a deemed to be university very soon. All necessary follow-up actions have been taken. The college witnessed several new initiatives undertaken in the last one year. The handbooks prepared on flora and fauna of the college, Radio Sarang, Centre for Social Concern, Coffee Table Book and the volumes on research output have been widely acknowledged. The management took up the restoration of the most complex chapel paintings. The task has been completed with the assistance of Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage, INTAC. 
The museum has been completely rebuilt in the new college with state of the art facilities. The entire admission was done online. It is transparent, informative and user friendly. A new software system was installed for online admission, website, online attendance, student login system, teacher assessment, examination, etc. Converting the campus into a green and clean campus, restoring the species of alwana, waste management systems including new vermicompost bins, etc. have been appreciated. Samrakshana, accompanying youth in preserving our common home is the theme of this year's College Day and this is in tune with our ongoing commitment to converting the campus into a clean and green campus. Rakshanjali program to celebrate Vanamahotsava was held in our college which was graced by the presence of the legendary Salumarada Timmakka. Students were inspired by her great contribution in protecting Mother Nature. The research policy and the new sports policy have facilitated better quality research and many awards in sports and games. The road in front of the college has been widened and a new road has been constructed by the side of the college ground up to the swimming pool. In order to motivate and encourage the students to take up civil services examination, St. Aloysius Institute of Civil Services has been established. The first admissions for the courses have been started. Three new PG programs, MCOM Finance and Analytics, MSc Data Analytics and MSc Food Science, Nutrition and Dietics have been started. An innovative industry-oriented postgraduate diploma in banking and finance has been started in Amit Center for Bank Employees. A new batch of BCom integrated with professional programs has been started with the classes beginning at 7 a.m. Similarly, Fund for Improvement of Science and Technology Infrastructure first grants of rupees 95 lakhs have been extended to the college. The college has been selected under the special scheme of Rashtriya Uchatar Shiksha Abhiyan Rusa with a grant of rupees 5 crores. A new BIVOC program in animation and multimedia has been started with the approval of UGC under DDU Kaushal Kendra. Two batches of students who have passed out from BIVOC program of this college have been successfully placed in different institutions. Many infrastructure facilities were created. New hostels, renovations of college buildings, college grounds, laying of interlocking system and many such new facilities have been created. Disabled friendly ramps were constructed. The playgrounds were renovated. New basketball courts, volleyball court, handball court, shuttle badminton court, new gym facilities etc have given tremendous encouragement to sports. The following staff have attained superannuation in the year 2018-19. St. Aloysius College places on record their contribution to the growth of the institution and their long and fruitful association with the college. We wish them all the best in their retired life. Dr. Father Leo D'Souza SJ, Director, Laboratory of Applied Biology, was honoured and felicitated by the Dakshina Kannada Sahitya Academy on the 29th January 2019 for his contribution to science and community. The following staff members have joined the Elosian family in 2018 and 19. The management and staff welcome our newest members and wish them all the best in their association with St. Elosius College.
strength. Every year, we have an increasing number of student enrollment for the different UG and PG programs. UG total 4,537, BA 516, BCom 1,565, BBA 740, BCA 480, BSc 1,236, BWOC 342. PG St. Aloysius Campus 824, Amit Campus 753. This year's rank students exemplify Helen Keller's belief that character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired and success achieved. The graduation ceremony of the college was held on 25th May 2018. There were a total of 1,767 graduates with 1,027 UG graduates, 595 PG graduates and 145 diploma holders. The chief guest of the program was Rev. Dr. Sebastian L. Raj, Pro Vice Chancellor, St. Xavier's University, Kolkata. To keep in tune with the ever-changing and challenging requirements in providing quality education, St. Aloysius College has been consciously working in aligning its faculty and students towards a more engaging role in active collaboration with international institutions and industry academia relationship through its foreign collaboration cell. The college signed 12 additional MOUs in 2018 with international institutes in US, Japan, Belgium, Spain, New Zealand, Germany, Brazil and Australia. This year we had a faculty exchange visit to St. Aloysius College by the SUNY faculty Dr. Lizzie Kroll and Dr. Oud Ritz Deutsch. St. Aloysius College has a vibrant community of international students who have opted our charming campus to pursue part of their education. Currently, four students from State University of New York are studying at St. Aloysius College. Dr. Asha Abraham, Associate Professor in the Department of PG and Research in Biotechnology, was deputed to Sophia University, Japan, under the Lecturing Research Grant during October to December 2018. Ms. Prima Pius, Faculty of the Department of Chemistry, went on a five-month internship program on nanotechnology to the University of Neymar, Belgium under the Erasmus Plus program. The Internal Quality Assurance Cell of St. Aloysius College periodically organizes academic-related programs, meetings and documentation work for the holistic development of the institution. Research and research-related activities are the core of academic culture and sufficient scope is given to dwell in research-related activities. The college has implemented research policy to encourage research culture among teaching faculty and students. Financial support for carrying out research projects for staff and students is encouraged through seed money grant. 20 research projects of postgraduate students and 7 research projects by teachers are granted financial assistance. Eight staff members availed FIP leave from management in this academic year. Department of Science and Technology has sanctioned a DST FIST five-year project fund for improvement of SNT infrastructure in universities and higher educational institutions to a college with a total cost of Rs 95 lakhs. Under the VGST scheme of RGSF, 
Dr. Rita Krasta has been awarded Rs. 5 lakhs for the project entitled Natural Radioactivity Concentration in Medicinal Plants and Environmental Matrices in Coastal Regions. Dr. S. Rubin from the Department of Software Technology is currently working on a research project sanctioned by VGST, Karnataka State Government under KFIST Level 2, where he has been sanctioned a grant of Rs. 40 lakhs. The project is to set up big data lab and using analytics to identify and manage high-risk and high-cost patients in nearby hospitals. There are a total of 81 teaching staffs in our college who have PhDs and 102 staff members have cleared UGC NET and or KSET. The college is happy to get research guideship for the following staff. Dr. Alvin Desa, Dr. Ratan Tilak Mohanta and Dr. Sylvia Rego of the Department of English, Dr. Vinola Rodriguez and Dr. Jyoti N. Rao of the Department of Chemistry, Dr. Asha Abraham, Dr. Norbert Lobo, Dr. Saraswati and Dr. Babu Thomas have successfully guided PhD scholars in the last few years. This year, our staff have published 135 research publications in nationally and internationally reputed journals. Community Radio Sarang 107.8 FM featured Coastal Karnataka's first transgender RJ, RJ Kajal. This year, St. Aloysius College has a vibrant student council comprising of Ralston Lobo of 3rd BCom as President, Ginny Saji of 3rd BA as Vice President, Rupal D'Souza from 2nd BSc as Secretary and Lloyd Winit Sikwera from 2nd BSc as Joint Secretary, Roshan Santosh of 3rd BBA as Speaker, Abdullah N as Deputy Speaker. Seva Saptaha. On the occasion of the 450th year of the birth of St. Aloysius Gonzaga as the Jubilee year, under the name of Seva Saptaha, the student council of our college dedicated 24th August 2018 to the cause of service through social work. The campus ministry of the college is actively involved in the overall growth of the students by organizing programs that help to build values, religious tolerance, faith formation and personality growth of the students. This academic year, various programs like Spoothi, Annual Retreat for the Catholic Students, Pragati, Skill Development Program for Non-Catholic Students, festivals like Deepavali and Christmas, Interreligious Harmony Day and Feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola were held. Library During the year, 1758 new books costing rupees 12 lakh 63702 were added to the library library subscribes 230 print journals and 31 newspapers total expenditure of the library including the journal subscription was rupees 20 lakh 65262 this year three book exhibitions were arranged Library subscribes to five digital databases Delnet, Enlist, JGate, ProQuest, and NDL, in which thousands of e journals and e books are available for browsing and download. The approach for excellence in academics motivated the college to hold numerous talks and seminars throughout the year. Public lectures by Professor Sahil Mishra, Delhi, Rev. Dr. Walsan Thampu, S.K. Malotra, Raja Ramanna Fellow by Justice H.N. Nagamohandas were held. A series of endowment lectures of public importance were conducted by Professor Raghurama, Director Bits Pilani and Professor P.S. Anil Kumar, Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru, besides international and national conferences. Nanpeet Award winner Prof. Chandrasekhar Kambara inaugurated the two-day national seminar on ecology and literature, while Gandhian thinker Sri Prasanna Hegodu inaugurated the seminar on Indian secularism and Kannada response. Dr. Nagati Harli Chandrasekhar inaugurated the three-day regional film festival. Interfaith Harmony Interfaith harmony and peace are the cornerstones of the ethos that make up the fabric of St. Aloysius College. This year, St. Aloysius College conducted numerous interfaith celebrations like Deepavali, Bakrid, and Christmas with stage performances followed by greetings and messages by staff and students. College Fests 
St. Aloysius College envisages to promote every student as a future leader as resounded in the number of fests organized in the college. Artbeat, Acme, Astitva, Spinout, Imprints, Composite, Aloshiad, Prerna, Kanarava and Aloshian Literature Festival have showcased variety of talented youngsters from various colleges and sharpened organization skills of our students. St. Aloysius College provides ample opportunities for students to participate in sports and develop their skills to become physically wholesome and socially sound. This year, our students have represented the college at various levels including the international and the national levels. Venetia Annie Carlo represented India in the Asian Bench Press Powerlifting Championship 2018. Israr Pasha represented India in the Asian Bench Press Powerlifting Championship UAE. In chess, Drikshu K. Vasant represented India in B category of 17th Delhi International Open Grandmasters Chess Tournament. In handball, Deora Delicia Fernandez participated in the Patila Cup 2018 held at Gothenburg, Sweden and participated in the Dronningland Cup held at Denmark. The real strength of our college are our students and our students have left no stone unturned to make their college proud with their multitude of achievements. Noteworthy achievements are Mr. Siddharth PP of 3rd year BSc has been awarded Sahyadri Young Ecologist in Lake 2018 Conference on Conservation and Sustainable Management of Reverine Ecosystems held at Alvas College Budbidri on 22nd to 25th November 2018 the Student Activity Cell of 2018-19 under the guidance of Dr. Ishwara Bhatt has organized important programs to nurture and motivate all-round student development. Students have won overall 8 events at the national level. Center for Social Concern, a vibrant unit of the college, through its innovative program, Sahaya, helps staff and students to be in touch with realities of less fortunate people in the society. Undergraduate students put in 40 hours of work during first two years. In this academic year, CSE coordinated Sahaya program to over 3,600 students, encouraging them to take up some social service and grow as responsible citizens. Door-to-door -door campaigns, programs for school school children, awareness on malaria prevention, effective waste management were few significant programs. CSE coordinated rural exposure programs for first-year PG students in Mungod and Hangal Taluk of Uttar Kannada. The college believes that every student should be exposed to the values of love for civil society, be aware of the civic rights and responsibilities and develop into mature citizens of the country. In this regard, the college has been intensely promoting all the statutory associations like the NCC, NSS, Heritage Club, Rovers and Rangers and the like. We congratulate CPL Meghna who participated in the Republic Day Camp New Delhi in 2019. A 10 day annual NCC training camp was held at St. Aloysius College campus in May 2018. We are the only college in the area to have all three wings of NCC, the Army, the Air Force and the Navy. A two-day state-level inter-school cricket tournament and cultural fest for the visually impaired was organized on January 13th and 14th, 2019. The college has 41 undergraduate associations and 21 PG associations who indulge in various extracurricular and co-curricular activities. In harmony with life, Reflections for Positive Choices has fulfilled the long-felt desire of the institution to have a textbook for value education program. The textbook has two modules. The first module focuses on knowledge of self and the second module on the journey and challenges of life. The college has separate student hostels in each of the campuses for both men and lady students with the accommodation capacity of 916 students. Furthermore, the hostels in the main campus are divided into hostels for undergraduate and postgraduate students. Both ladies and gents hostels are headed by directors. In addition, the ladies' hostels are managed by Sisters of Charity, 
ably led by a warden from the sisters' ranks. 50% of the hostel seats are reserved for students from socially and economically weaker sections. Placement This year we had a good number of students who have been placed in reputed organizations. 145 students of St. Aloysius campus and 229 students of the BD Amit Center have been successfully placed in 2018 and 19. We condole the sad demise of these illustrious personalities and remember their service with gratitude. Reverend Father Lawrence Castellino, former professor of history, expired 6-7-2018. Professor Valerian Lasrado, former professor of chemistry, expired 15-7-2018. Professor B.S. Raman, former professor of commerce, expired 27-7-2018. Sister Reshma de Souza, a student of second year BA, Ursuline sister, expired 21-1-2019. Sri George Fernandez, illustrious alumni, former minister of railways and defense, government of India, expired 29-1-2019. The college gave a scholarship of Rs. 5,67,780 to 87 students. Besides, 243 students received fee concession of over 17,99,055. One new scholarship has been added this year, the Nanda Deepa Charitable Trust. The college has received grants from UGC of Rs. 14,83,950. Students are benefiting from the midday meal scheme of the college. The expenses incurred with the help of generous benefactors and management is Rs. 9,24,349. To provide a forum for Alaskan alumni to instill Alaskan values and aspirations into practice, the college has SAKA, an alumni association which organizes various programs throughout the year. It gives us a sense of pride to celebrate our achievements while we reaffirm our commitment to imparting quality education to all sections of the society. Education is not the filling of a pail but the lighting of a fire, said William Butler Yeats. We have traversed many a significant milestones and stepped towards the 140th year with renewed hope and aspirations, hopeful of realizing our dream to become a university and many more milestones to achieve.